Hey everyone, and welcome back. We are going to get into creating parallax effects. Now this is the fun stuff, the really fun stuff, because when you see that beautiful website moving, scrolling to one place from another, all these different elements moving at different speeds or in different ways, it really kind of brings your actual experience to a whole other level. It really is something that could make a difference in terms of the polish that you have on your website. You could also use it to draw attention to different areas, and I'm sure you've all heard me say that in the previous videos, but let's jump right in. So where we left off was we created a quick anchor link. We can preview that really quickly again. So I, I set it to learn more, like, oh, I'm gonna learn more about Toronto, super cool. Now let's actually go in and create some parallax effects. So I'm gonna duplicate that again. So I have option and shift and just dragging it over. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, when we think about parallax, it's gonna be a totally different way in terms of actually setting this prototype up. We're gonna to have to do two pages. So what we'll do here is we're gonna duplicate this a second time. We're just gonna make sure that these don't have like a starting flow or anything like that because we are not interested in creating any clickable links. We are gonna do something a little different here. Okay, so one thing we have to think about is, well, the way the images come sliding in is gonna be totally different. So if we just align all these images together, and the way to do that is you can either, so if I backspace, uh, we can just go like this, you know, get all these images selected, then we can click that button and have them all align. So we can set that up like that. We can even set that a little bit lower. And you may be thinking, Daniel, what are you doing? This is not the design we agreed upon. And you're right, we didn't agree upon this design. We're actually gonna hide that because what this is going to do, when we move from this screen to this screen, these items are gonna be sliding in at different speeds. So they actually stop like this. I'll show you what I mean in a very quick second. So that is how we're gonna start our actual animation like that. And we are going to bring all these items up. We can actually select everything. And if we move it up, like this, we can actually start to create a better experience. You know, we wanna keep everything up to the same dimensions as the previous frame. So we're gonna to have to work a bit here at getting this the way we want it. So making sure that they all fit nicely. Okay, I'm just moving those. I have that in there. Okay, so let's work on the first part. And what we're gonna do here is when we drag this screen, we have to use one of these interaction methods, which is unfortunate. It works really well on things like mobile when you're doing like parallax effects because the natural gesture is to actually drag up and down when you're swiping. You're swiping to scroll rather than using your mouse. It would be really cool to see them implement the same thing for desktop users. But uh, right now we can just kind of use dragging. And we're just gonna keep it to smart animate. And let's see what it looks like. We're actually going to name this Parallax. Great. Let's just name this old one Anchor. That looks perfect. Okay, let's jump right in. 
Here we go. This is our parallax landing page. So this is all you're going to see when you come in to our website. And then with a drag, boom, we automatically have this cool effect. We can go ahead and apply the exact same thing going back the other way. So on drag, we want that to happen. We can also increase the amount of time it takes to actually have that animation play out. So I have it at 1500. So that's really nice, really subtle. And you can tell we have these images moving at different speeds. Even this, this little blurb of text comes in at a different speed. So let's actually now work on this image over here. Now this is kind of where more of the magic happens. Let's take a look. So when we're thinking about this image up top, so I'm back in my design panel, because I'm going to be working on all that. I'm going to select all and that's Command A or Control A, and I'm just going to kind of move everything down a bit because we are actually going to, you know, move some of these items at different speeds. So I'm just kind of moving those up, holding shift and the arrow keys. And this Toronto text can come down a bit. And the CN Tower Let's move the CN Tower overlay. Let's move those all up. Like that. We'll move the overlay down a bit. So that way it's sitting perfectly on top of the blue sky background. Now we can select everything in this frame and we can move it back up. Perfect. So let's take a look at what that looks like and if we got the desired staggered effect that we were looking for. So we slide up and there we go. Same thing applies here. Beautiful little parallax effect. And th that didn't really even take us much time. So I want you all to remember that go out there, experiment with these types of things because you can create some really beautiful things in the matter of minutes. Perfect. And the only thing I would fix, I think, if I were to bring everything back down once again, I think I would want this nav to possibly stay there as it moves. So it's not so ahead of everything else like we currently have. So it's more subtle. So the background and the CN Tower are the things that are moving much quicker and the Toronto main text or your main hero text, whatever you would like to call it, and your navigation are more in the background and less quick than everything else. And that is how you start creating parallax effects in Figma in minutes. And this is going to be really helpful to you know work with your developers, work with your product team to get across a different type of concept that you may have different type of design that you may have and just to run it past people really quickly. Also, this looks great in your portfolio if you're able to just screen capture this and you can easily showcase how beautiful your designs are.